Hello. Have you ever been invited to a Super Bowl party or a football game and were afraid to go because you didn't know anything about football? Well, I'm here to help. I will teach you all about football. My name is Joey Gardner and I'm 12 years old. I'm a member of the Phoenix 4-H Club. I've been involved with 4-H for over six years. Ever since I was little, I have wanted to play football. My dream is to get a football scholarship in North Carolina State University and later get drafted into the NFL. Today, I'll be discussing the basics of football. The NFL playing field is 100 yards long with an additional 10 yards on each end for the end zones. It is 53.3 yards in width, and the end zones are marked with orange coins, orange cones, and usually has the team's name inside the area. The goalposts, also known as the uprights, are 10 feet above ground, 20 feet tall, and 15.5 feet wide. They are located on either side of the field at the end of each end zone. The goal of the game is simple. It is to score more points than the opposing team. How do you score points? There are several ways. Touchdowns, extra points, two-point conversions, field goals, and safeties. A touchdown is the largest scoring opportunity in a football game. A team scores a touchdown by advancing the ball to the opponent's end zone. The ball must be carried across the goal line into the end zone or caught and recovered in the end zone. It rewards you with six points and it allows the scoring team to attempt to get an extra point or a two-point conversion. Immediately after a touchdown, you can get an extra point by kicking the ball from the 15-yard line through the goalpost, or you can get an extra two points by running a two-point conversion. This is when the team sets up the play from the two-yard line and try to get the ball into the end zone for a second time. A field goal can be made when running the ball for a touchdown is no longer an option. It is scored by kicking the ball through the goalposts from where the play is set to begin. There were three points. A safety, which is not very common, will get you two points. This is when the defense tackles the offense in the defense's end zone. A football team has three groups of players. Offense, the people with the ball, Defense, the people who are trying to stop the offense and defend their goal. And special teams, the people who are on the field whenever the, the players are kicking the football. There are a total of 55 players on a football team. The offensive players' positions are one quarterback, one running back, two to four wide receivers, five offensive linemen, one, one or two tight ends, and one fullback. The quarterback throws the ball. The running back runs and catches the ball. The wide receiver catches the ball. The offensive linemen keep the defense at bay. The tight end guard the offense and catches the ball. And the fullback runs with runs and guards for the offense. The defensive squad positions are four linemen, three linebackers, two safeties, and four cornerbacks. Defensive linemen try to sack the quarterback. Three linebackers try to stop the running pass game. Two safeties and four cornerbacks who both try to stop the pass game. And last but not least, the special teams players. Kickers, punters, returners, gunners, blockers, and snappers. Kickers kick the ball, punters punt the ball, returners catches the kick or punt and runs with it. Gunners try to stop the returners, blockers block the defense, and snappers hike the ball to start the play and look and blocks for the quarterback or running back. Each game has four quarters, each with 15 exciting minutes. Players get 40 seconds to call a unique play and snap the ball. The first and second quarter is called the first half. At the end of the second quarter is called halftime. After halftime, the third and fourth quarter make up the second half. Overtime is 15 minutes. In the NFL, this is sun death. The first team to score wins. Possession is determined before the period begins by a coin toss. There are several ways to stop the clock. An incomplete pass, when a player with a ball runs out of bounds, when the ref calls a penalty, when timeouts are called, and when the quarter is over and each team gets three timeouts per half. 
a kickoff is when the one team kicks the ball to the other team to begin their drive. Kickoffs start the game, start the second half of the game, and after a team scores and, and kicks the ball to the other team. At a kickoff, the catching team can wave and catch or catch and kneel so that the play starts from where that player catches the ball. Or they can catch the ball and run till stopped. If the football is not caught and hits the end zone, the play automatically starts at the 25-yard line. The offensive team tries to gain as much yardage as it can and try to move closer to the opponent's end zone. Each time the offense gets the ball, it has four downs or plays to gain, gain 10 yards. If the offensive team successfully moves the ball 10 or more yards, it earns a first down. The other and another set of four downs. If the offense fails to gain the 10 yards, it loses possession of the ball. If the offense reaches fourth down, it usually punts the ball or kicks it away. This forces the other team to begin and try further down the field. The defense tries to prevent the offense not only from scoring, but also from gaining the 10 yards needed for a first down. There are many ways to move the ball. A football play begins with a snap at the line of scrimmage where the play begins. The quarterback can either throw the ball, hand it off, or run with it. The run occurs when the quarterback either runs himself or hands the ball to another player on his team, who then tries to gain as much yard as possible by weaving through the defensive players. All of a sudden, the, the offensive players will try to block the defensive players and to clear the path for the runner. Another way to gain yards is passing the ball. This is when <clears throat> this is when the quarterback throws the ball to the wide receivers, running back, or tight end. The ball must be thrown from behind the line of scrimmage. If the ball hits the ground before someone catches it, it is called an incomplete pass. The defense tries to stop the offense by tackling them. Players tackled when a player's knee, elbow, or ball touches the ground. If the quarterback is tackled behind the line of scrimmage before he passes the ball, it is called a sack. And when the offense passes the ball but the other team catches it, it is called an interception. If the offense runs the ball and drops the ball and one of the players on offense or defense gets the ball, it is known as a fumble. After the second quarter's finished, both teams that were playing go into separate locker rooms to talk about plays, strengths, and weaknesses. They also change pad jerseys and undershirts and get hydrated. Half times last 12 minutes. Once the fourth quarter is over, or overtime is over, the players on each team shake hands with each other and with the coaches. Then some players do interviews with nudist broadcasters. Players also celebrate their win in the locker room or talk about the game and how they can improve. Football is one of America's most popular sports. It is exciting to watch and play. I hope my presentation was helpful to you and made you feel comfortable enough to enjoy the game. It is my favorite sport. Thank you for your time and attention. Do the judges have any questions? And my last presentation, one of the judges asked me, what positions do I play? And so um, the positions I play are quarterback and middle linebacker. And if you guys have any questions about my presentation, uh, you can email me at joeygartner1 at gmail.com. And then you can just send me some questions and I'll answer them as soon as possible. Thank you.